Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use effects in Roblox Studio, which is actually pretty easy to do and really does improve the experience of your games and makes it a lot cooler. Now, you want to make sure you have Explore and Property tabs open in the View section. Now, after you do that, you want to go ahead and insert a part into your game, which is just really easy to do. As you can see, we have a basic part right here, which you're going to be going ahead and adding that effect to. So you want to go to go to the Model section, and from there, you want to go to the far right, and you're going to see the option to use effects in the gameplay area. And from there, you're going to see like a little fire icon. You want to go ahead and open that, and you see multiple options to add an effect all right the first effect i want to go over is the fire effect which you can use to make a torch campfire some pretty basic stuff for your games in roblox studio and you can change the size of the fire to whatever you want you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can also change the color to whatever you want you can make it really cool colors i mean like change it to a different custom color is pretty cool and i think it's really awesome to do for your games is try out the fire effect you go out and try it yourself another one i'm gonna go over is the point light which is a source of light that you can use for your buildings and stuff on the inside to just improve a dark area and so it makes it easy for the players to see when they're playing your games really does improve the gameplay experience you can change the color of the light as well you can give it a hue of color green yellow red blue whatever kind of color you want i'm going to do cyan you can also make it brighter it's a bright cyan so it's just basically glowing with that color now another way to insert effects is just doing right click insert object you can go through the list as well that way just wanted to show you that to you guys as a second option other way you want to do it but now we're going to add in the smoke effect as you can see it's really smoky and a lot of people use this as the end of their chimneys as to show smoke coming out of the chimneys on their houses but you can change the opacity i don't want to say that word but you make it more transparent and less smoky that way if you lower the number you can also change the color of the smoke which is really cool which you can have a lot of fun with that and there's a lot of things you can do with smoke as well for your games it's really up to you you can just get really creative with it and you can also change the rise velocity which will make the smoke up faster and stuff and it's just not be so consistent but then after that you can also use a trail effect which you kind of want to do scripting and stuff with that which you know how players have trails and games that's basically what that effect is you can't really put that on the part i really don't know how to use those and the same with the explosion effect you really have to do scripting and stuff with that i believe next one is sparkles which is a really fun one as well i really love the sparkles effect a classic and you change the color to whatever you want and i think it just looks amazing it looks great and you can do a lot of stuff with that like just to show that people want to click on it like a gift all right so the next effect i want to show you is the spotlight which is pretty similar to the point light but it pretty much hits a different angle and all that so it's pretty much just putting you on the spotlight if you know what i mean so just get that certain angle right there and you can actually change the angle within the properties and you can adjust the part which has the spotlight in it you can change the color of the spotlight as well and change it to whatever hue or color you want and i think this looks really great as well i didn't make a video separate from this is the go over lights and stuff how to make lights for your games in relic studio if you want to go out and watch it you can this goes more in the detail another one is the surface light which this is also pretty similar to the spotlight and honestly i don't get the difference that much but it covers more of the area which you know you can do whatever you want for that one the last one i want to go over is the particle emitter which you can change this particle which is kind of like the sparkle effect but you can change the texture of it to whatever you want i'm going to insert a texture i already have and as you can see it is uh josh it looks great uh you can actually change this you usually do it in the toolbox with images you can insert a donut for example you want to go ahead and go to the properties of that decal and copy the texture and then paste it into the texture in the particle emitter as you can see now it's donuts as the effect you can also change the size of the particle emitter so to make the particle smaller as you can see it's a little small donuts now and you can really mess around with it if you want to you can probably change the speed of the particle emitter as well so it's slower but it's really up to you at the end of the day so i hope you guys found this video extremely helpful now you know how to use a lot of the effects in Roblox studio and it really does help you build your games and your maps overall and if you really did appreciate this make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button it helps me out a ton and if you want to learn how to move parts smoothly and easily in Roblox studio without any restrictions where you can just easily move it and build stuff easier you can watch my one video on how to easily do that. Turn up on the screen right now and a link to it in the description below. Till next time, goodbye.